Hello Neon! Let's go ahead and get into it guys. This is another fun tutorial with Adobe Illustrator. Today we're going to be going through making neon text effects. But first, be sure to like and subscribe if you find this useful for you. And with that, let's go ahead and get set up for our document settings. The first thing we need to do is go up to File, come down to our Document Color Mode. Because in terms, when I first started, mine was on this. And you'll notice the effects are just not as vibrant and not as good. You kind of get this white haziness on the outside. So if I go back to file, document color mode, go to RGB color, changes it, makes it nice and better, a lot better. So with that, we're going to go ahead and create a new layer to go and get started making some new stuff. So I made a backdrop color, so just rectangle, press M on your keyboard, click and drag. I'm going to go ahead and make it black there. And we'll just go ahead and size it to about our artboard. And then I'm going to go ahead and lock it so I don't end up selecting it when I move it around. And now it's time for the type tool. So I'm going to hit T on my keyboard to activate the typing icon. Go ahead and click where you want to place your text. And I will do, I'll just say neon again today for simplicity's sake. And then I'll scale it up by holding shift and uh, just shift while I drag it. You can do shift and alt is what I was going to say and do it from the center as well while you click and drag. So there's that one as well. I'm going to go ahead and click white and First, we're going to go ahead and pick which font you want to use. So go ahead and go to character, pick what font. Then once you've got that set how you want it, go ahead and select your text, right click, and then hit create outlines or shift control O or command O. And then this changes it into a vector graphic that we can now alter and play with and apply effects to, which will come into play in just a minute. But first, I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to do this one here. So double click on any color swatch you want. doesn't matter which one. I picked this one because I've already selected it as my global color swatch. And this is what we're going to check. So make sure you have this checked on whichever color swatch you want to use. And you can change whatever color here too. And there's a preview icon. So as you change it, basically what the global does is it allows you to later on apply um, these sliders and change the color of all the effects and everything we've done. So you can just, once we have our pink neon, I can go ahead and change it to orange. I can change it to green, to blue, whatever I want, just by using these. So that's why the global is important to have it checked. Go ahead and hit OK. And then we're going to go ahead and create a copy by going to Object, Path, and then Offset Path. And if I zoom in, zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see this in one second while I change my layer color. Okay, so after taking way too long, double click there, then you can change your layer color. So let's go ahead and find something that will show up a little bit better with the orange. So now I'm going to go up to object after I select that and go to path, offset path, and then now you can see what this is doing. So I'm going to scroll inward because we want it to come inside so you see these little lines coming in and out as I scroll. This is the new kind of offset path of which it's going to create. So once we have it to where we want it, say I kind of, let's go ahead and hit OK. And then we're going to ungroup these because it will create both of them as a same group. So I want to select it, ungroup it by right clicking and then ungroup. And then I select these while holding shift, holding shift. There we go. Then I can right click and group these. And if I hold shift and use my arrow keys to move it and click and drag to grab the rest to Pathfinder and hit unite where you can hit control, control G or command G, whatever you like. Shift and arrow keys to move that back down. Now for the fun stuff. So let's go ahead and come here, go to swatches. Actually not swatches, you wanna to go to color guide. If you don't see this, um, go up to window, then come down to color guide here and you should have a check mark and it'll spit it out at you if you don't have it up already. And then we're gonna go here, I'm gonna change it because this will make like our sort of more white uh, neon bulb or at the center will be more towards the white hue. So we're going to change that to there. And next we're going to apply some neon. So we're going to go to effect, come down to blur, then Gaussian blur. And then this is where we can use our slider and we can change it. So we want less blur, we want more blur and so on and so forth. But we want to do kind of a moderate blur to where it looks somewhat nice like that. And then I will come in and I can add a blur to this if I really want to kind of blend it a little bit more. You don't have to, but it just as a place to show you where you can get those blurs. So like really we only need not too much of a blur. Even this might be kind of a lot. But there we go. There, and it's already looking pretty good. 
So after that, I want to select the one in the back. So there's this top layer, and there's this back layer. The back layer is the one I want, so I'm going to hit Control C, Control F, or you can also find this, I believe, under Edit. You can go to Copy and then Paste in front. That's what I did. And then I'm going to select the one in the bottom, which will be this guy here. There we go. And then I can go to Appearance, and if I select Group, now I can go to Gaussian Blur, and I can adjust this blur so I can kind of bump it up a little bit more, and you'll see kind of more of that uh, lighting effect that neon typically gives if it were, say, um, next to a wall and so forth. But basically, that's all there is to doing this. Oh, and one more thing. Before you go, for the global color I was talking about, double click on it, and then now you can go ahead and hit your preview, preview window, and let's go ahead and change it to something else. And just like that, you can go ahead and change the color to whatever you like using the RGB sliders. And yeah, so that's basically all there is to it to go ahead and make some fun neon effects just like so. So that's really all there is to it. I hope you guys found this helpful for you. Uh, be sure to again like and subscribe if you want to see some more. And please leave comments down below if you guys got any questions or what you think of the video. And thanks for tuning in. Happy designing.